up guys and welcome to vlogmas day 22 feeling 22 hi what's up so today i thought i would finally do my makeup routine for you guys like a talk through what i use what products i use and how i use them because i never finished it last time and you guys really want to know so we're gonna do that and at the same time i'm gonna answer some juicy questions but like i don't know they're all i asked you guys on instagram to ask me questions and there's just like a lot of repetitive ones that i'm just not gonna answer anymore about things that I've already answered, but I don't know, maybe next time I kind of do a Q&A all about like, just like relationship advice because I feel like I give pretty good advice. I don't know. Let me know if you guys would want that or like a main channel. Is that a main channel video? I don't know, um, but I feel like I would want to do that because I'm just tired of the same questions, <laughs> but we're here. We're here now, so we're going to try to answer some of the ones that are good. I screenshotted a few. Also, I'm just feeling really lazy today. That's why I'm just doing this like one little sit down makeup vlog. Honestly, I'm not really doing much today. So I thought this would be the perfect day to do it. Just a random Tuesday afternoon doing my makeup. Why not? Archie's sleeping at my feet is really precious. So yeah, let's just get started. Also, I only have one hair clip because I can't find the other one really sad. I'll just have to hold my hair. The first thing that I use, I showed you guys the first half already, so you might already know, but I use the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Primer. It looks like this, and I think it's a really good primer if you have acne scars or pores that are pretty large because it just like evens out the texture and smooths your skin and just like preps it all for makeup, and I really like it. On the topic of acne scars, one of the questions was, what's your biggest insecurity? And also I think it was like your favorite thing about yourself and like biggest insecurity about yourself. So I'd say right now I'm pretty, pretty confident. Like I feel good about myself. Like nothing really gets to me. Like I love my skin, but if there's one thing I had to pick, it would be my acne scars. Like, it's just like, it's super hard to get rid of them. It's like on your face. So it's like, I don't know. It's just annoying. And I would say that is like a insecurity just cause like it's on my face and I just noticed it a lot, but we're working on it and they will go away one day. And then my favorite thing or feature about myself is probably like my eyes. I don't know, I just feel like I really like my eye color. I've always just like loved my eyes, so. Next thing I do, foundation. I use NARS Natural <laughs> What the fuck? Oh no. Oh my God. Okay, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and also Born This Way by Too Faced. And I just mix them on top of my Tatcha primer. I do like four pumps of that, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. I'm pretty tan right now, so we're gonna do a little bit more of the darker one and I just mix it. I might need actually more than that. We'll try to not put a lot on today. Oh shit, I need to wet my beauty blender. Dream vacation spot. Well, when we're allowed to go to, well, when we're allowed to travel to other countries, like more countries, when things open up, my dream vacation at the top of my bucket list is Greece. I haven't been there yet and I don't know. I don't know why I have never been there, but I really need to go. So that is at the top of my list for sure. I miss, I miss that. I miss, I miss Europe. <clears throat> have you ever been cheated on? No but I don't think it would be very fun. And I think that's horrible if you are gonna cheat on someone, just end the relationship. But yeah, no, have never been cheated on, have never cheated, but I don't know what I would do for that. <clears throat> that would be really bad. I don't understand why people do that. How did you know you were ready for another relationship? I thought this was a good question. I was very happy being single. Like I was finally like really not caring and I didn't care about being alone. Like I was having a great ass time with my friends and I was happy living my life. I feel like that right there just shows you you're probably ready. Like if you're that just like secure and happy within yourself, then I feel like you can be happy with someone else. But if, if you're always gonna like be looking for someone to fulfill you, that's when you know like you should probably not be in a relationship. So I was content with being alone and like happy living my life and I wasn't searching or forcing anything. And when the right thing fell into my lap, I mean, I'm not gonna like deny it. So 
Timing is a funny thing, I feel like. I suck at multitasking. Let me just blend my foundation. Next, concealer, Tarte Shape Tape. That's it, that's the tweet. I just put it under my eyes. I use the lighter one, kind of, like, also. I don't know. And then I do, like, a little chin, and then a little right here. That's it. That is it. Blend, blend, blend. <laughs> Drink of choice. Um, that's a very broad question. If you're talking alcoholic, I would say either like white wine, rosé, <laughs> any wine really. Um, or I really like, if I'm drinking like a cocktail, I really have been liking like these cucumber drinks that you can get some places. I don't know, just like anything cucumber or like refreshing like that. Um, and I usually would do like vodka. So like, I don't know, a mojito, but like with vodka or like something minty, something like refreshing. I love that. Other than that, water, that's all I drink. I usually like use a napkin to wipe off the foundation on my lips also. <laughs> Around this point, I hate foundation on my lips. Then I go in with powder. I use the Laura Mercier setting powder, just translucent powder. Just kind of set everything in place under my eyes and everything. I really need to wash my brushes. It's like really bad. They're like real crusty. I don't remember the last time I washed my makeup brushes. Whew. Especially in the T-zone area. Next, I do eyebrows. I use the Benefit Precisely My Brow pencil in shade number four. I kind of just brush them up because they're pretty thick and get any like concealer or whatever that got in them. And then I just do small brush strokes. Next question, at what age would you like to have kids? I would say I'm definitely not ready to have kids right now at this moment. Um, I feel like I'm just like still young and I still have like some good years ahead of me. And like, even after your kids, you have kids though. Like I feel like you still can have fun and like have a life, but I personally probably don't want kids until like obviously at least 30, but like early 30s, I would say is a good time. But who knows? I just go with the flow in life because you can't plan anything. But I do know it's something I want one day. I feel like in the past, I was always just like rushing my life and like, I know why I thought I had to like grow up so fast because you're only in your 20s once and you should be living your best life. But, you know, I don't know. Next is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I just brush that in to keep them in place like that. Okay. And then we go in with Hula Bronzer in this brush and contour our face. Next question is, what is the best relationship advice you can give? I like questions like this. Um, I guess it's not juicy. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have said ask me juicy questions. Best relationship advice, I would say, I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot I could talk about with relationships and how to handle things and like what to look for, I guess. But I would say like one of the biggest things that you should be able to do in a relationship or with your partner or whatever is to fight in like a healthy way. I feel like fighting is an obvious thing. It's, it's, inevitable it's gonna happen in every relationship like it's honestly i think healthy to an extent i think if you're not fighting then that's kind of weird and kind of an issue like never fought ever like that's i don't think that's really a thing everyone fights but to do it in a healthy way where you can talk through things and it brings you closer at the end of it like at the end of the argument you can come to an agreement you can come to an understanding you can talk through it with love like you fight with love you're not i mean some yelling fights happen sometimes but like you come out of it almost like bonded more if that makes sense like you're coming out of it, talking through it, and it's bringing you closer together at the end of the day because you're telling each other how you feel and learning and listening to each other instead of just like toxic saying things that you don't mean or just like really hurtful things. Just like fighting to like actually get to an agreement and like you both like don't wanna be fighting and you know that and you're actually working towards like a resolute or like a solution and you're fighting with love, not hate. I feel like that, if you can do that and you're really good at that with your partner, you can fight well. I feel like that is like game changer and is a really important thing to have in your relationship. So 
yeah. I just know for me personally, like I never want to be in a relationship where like your fighting just goes nowhere. I don't want to be in a relationship where there's no resolution at the end of the fights and you just like feel depleted afterwards and like, like shit, like that's not fun and not something that like I want to feel. <laughs> so I would say that's like a yeah, super important thing in a relationship and that is like some advice, I guess. Is that advice? Yeah. Fight with love. Because you're not enemies, you're supposed to be partners. If it's your partner, you should be trying to help each other, trying to understand each other, not be fighting each other. And that's just my thoughts. Um, with the bronzer, I just kind of put it on my forehead, right here, right here, right here. You guys know the drill with that. And then I contour my nose with this end and I just do a little bit under here. And then I do like the edges a little bit. And then I do like a little bit across, you know, like kind of have like a little button nose going on with that. Kind of just like all around there, a little bit more on this side. Just contouring the nose. I'm literally going nowhere after this. <laughs> just doing my makeup. Okay, that's the contouring done. Then I go in with blush and I use the NARS Orgasm Blush. I have a little mini one with me. And I have this like tart brush, but it's like <laughs> broken. But we just ignore that. And I kind of just focus more on like the upper part here than like down here. I feel like it lifts your cheeks when you do that. But I think I saw that on TikTok where you're supposed to do that. Then we have highlight. Becca Champagne Pop. I just do right here on my cheekbones. Also that blush had a little shimmer in it. So I feel like doing it up here, it's like a highlight also. And then I do like here, 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 here. Tip of the nose, upper lip or Cupid's bow, a little bit on the bridge. Then we move on to eyes. I keep it minimal for the eyes. All I do is I take the bronzer that I used on my face and I just put it on my eyes. I don't even have like eyeshadow. I literally just use bronzer. I don't know why you guys think me and Tila aren't friends or like not talking right now, but we are, we're fine, we're still friends. We actually had plans to hang out this week, but it's just like the week of Christmas, so a little busy, I don't know if it'll happen. But yes, we still talk and everything's fine. We just live kind of far away, so it can be hard with that, but everything's fine. No drama there. How did you meet your boyfriend? I answered that question in my eating McDonald's answering questions vlogmas video. But we met on the boat. It was through mutual friends. I was invited on the boat through a mutual friend. Yeah, we met on the boat. That's pretty much it. And that was like in the summer. So yeah, basically I just put the eyeshadow like all over, kind of like smoke it out, like really, really blend it. I blend for hours and hours. <laughs> Uh, I'm just kidding, but I I don't know. I just like blend it. I kind of pull it like upwards. I feel like it, I don't know, you, you know? I'm just gonna like lift the eye. That's the goal. I'm, like focus more on the outer V and then kind of blend it inwards. I also pull that down on the outer bottom lash line, I guess, right here. Not all the way to the inner corner, but like focusing on the outer part, working your way in just to give it like a smokier kind of like look. I don't know what I just did, I don't know. I'm kind of tired today. Okay, then I just do the same thing to this side. Then when you're done with the bronzer, I go in with the highlight that I used on my face and I just do the inner corner of my eye and the brow bone like right here. Just like a little tiny bit, like barely, but just adds dimension. Sometimes I do more of like everything, sometimes I do less just depending on what kind of like day I'm having. But like I will literally do this same makeup if I'm like going out, but I'll just like add a little more eyeshadow or like highlight or like whatever. Or like I'll add like winged eyeliner or like lashes or something. And then we're almost done. It's getting kind of dark. Damn, I hate how the sun sets so freaking early. Petition to end daylight savings. Um, then I just curl my eyelashes with this curling iron. Curling iron. Eyelash curler. What's your New Year's resolutions? Um, I hate resolutions. I think they're stupid. I feel like you should do what you want to do any time of year. But I would say right now I just want to like upload more on YouTube and continue like after Vlogmas vlogging a lot because 
you guys seem to like it and you guys really want me to continue. I feel like you guys are loving Vlogmas. It means a lot and it makes me want to post a lot more frequently. So hopefully I can do that. I would say that's my resolution if I had one. Okay, I forgot. I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Mine's pink. I think it was, was like a special edition thing. It's usually purple packaging, but kind of just do that. I feel like it makes your lashes really, really long. So that's what I've been using lately, but I kind of just like alternate mascaras, like whatever's like around and that's like pretty good I'll use. And then I do like a little bit on the bottom. My bottom lashes are like weirdly long. So I just kind of like try to just dust on a little bit or else they look very weirdly long and spidery almost. I don't know. Is there any more questions? I feel like I haven't answered anything super juicy, but I don't know why I said juicy. I don't know. What is one advice you can give about being in a healthy relationship? I feel like I already kind of said like the fighting thing. That's super important. Just like know like how to spot. It's kind of hard to like know what an unhealthy relationship is when you have never been in one. And it's hard to spot the red flags, I guess. And also I just need to like say again, an unhealthy relationship with someone could be like super healthy for another person. I feel like the thing that makes relationships so unhealthy are one, the way people fight with each other and just like people being so different that like there's no, like you're so different. There's, it's just like not healthy because there's not going to be, you're not going to change each other. Just because you're in an unhealthy relationship doesn't mean, I mean, there are super toxic, unhealthy relationships and people that are abusive, but like you could also be in an unhealthy relationship with someone and they're not like a bad person. You're not a bad person. You guys are just different and that's what makes it unhealthy. And it's just like, you're probably just better off with someone else and that's fine too. But anyway, I don't know where I was going with that, but I think just like being able to like be aware of yourself and what you deserve or like what you want and being secure in yourself and your beliefs and like not, and knowing like you don't have to change certain things about yourself for someone else. Like, especially if you really, are passionate or like or truly believe like in something and that you guys just don't disagree like don't just like stay in something because you're comfortable know the flags and know like that's not like you don't have to change yourself no like you can find someone that's probably better for you and just like know that and so like don't stay in something i feel like i'm talking in circles you guys know the gist you know what i'm saying you know be woke <laughs> then i just curl my lashes again after they're wet and they have mascara, I feel like they hold a curl. So I kind of curl them twice, once before, once after. That is pretty much it. And then I do lips. I literally do the same thing all the time. Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, lip pencil. Kind of just line them, kind of color them in a little bit. Oh my God, my battery's dying, shit. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, um, that is pretty much it. My camera literally just died mid-sentence, but I used the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner on my lips and then I used classic baby lips. I literally, this is all I use all the time. If you guys are ever wondering, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and this cherry kind of flavored, yeah, cherry me lip balm. I literally get it on Amazon because it's kind of hard to find in stores now. I don't know, baby lips is just like a thing of the past. But like, no, because I love this. But yeah, anyway, that's the finished makeup look. Mm-hmm. 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 I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer for this video. I feel like I didn't answer that many, but I definitely want to do more of these kinds of videos in the future and just like maybe different topics other than my life. Maybe like advice or like, yeah, just like advice. I feel like that would be good, so... I'll do that for sure, but that's going to be it for today's Vlogmas. I hope you guys liked this kind of sit down, talking, get ready with me and my makeup routine finally, like showing you what I use and everything. Yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you tomorrow for Vlogmas day 23. We literally have like three more days left of Vlogmas. That's crazy. But anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.